What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Leia. First of all, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm no. Eric. Yes, I was getting there. That's pretty much it. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. Usually got you guys see me vlogging or talking about some of my favorite things, but today I was like, I wanna do a mukbang with my favorite person ever. I thought it was a mukbang. I don't know. I think it's mukbang. Mm. So it was like kill two birds with one stone. You know, you gotta eat and you gotta make content. So why not do it together? So that's what we're gonna do. So we have seafood boils from Hook and Reel here in, I believe they're international, not international, but all over the U.S. But we're in Brooklyn, so Hook and Reel. Um, so that's what we got. I was craving seafood boil and. I haven't really had seafood since being pregnant, so I think it's important to incorporate that at some point. So that's what we did. So yeah, we're gonna start eating. Eric's not that hungry, I don't think. Cause well, I am now. I took a little now. nap. Yeah, I got a little something, something, and little key. You always want to learn your own body, you know. And with my body, for some weird reason, whenever I have sparkling water, it like grows my appetite so so you're hungry now that i've gotten some sparkling water it's grown my appetite so i have crab uh, crabs snow crabs shrimp boiled eggs potatoes and corn eric has i put in his everything except for the shrimp so he has snow crab corn egg and sausage and then i've been seeing people eat noodles so I put noodles. They literally just gave me noodles. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to dip it in here. Maybe around the sauce. Maybe. Maybe I'll try that. It doesn't sound good. but mm. So we're going to dig in here. So we're going to be quiet for these first few bites, probably. Smell the aroma. That is good. That is great. Thank you for this food. Yeah, you gotta pray too. My daddy you great. Pray. Oh, I just prayed, but I'll pray again. Thank okay. you, Jesus, for this food. Let it be good and nourishing for our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. It's been before. a while. I think I'm gonna start with sheep. Keep it simple. So I typically make my own seafood boil because I'm just picky, um, and it just tastes fresher to me when I make it. And I've been having a hard time finding someone that really does well. So I haven't had seafood boil from this place since like May, I think it said I ordered it last one. So I don't know, y'all. You don't know, see though. How's it for you so far? All right. Always need time to digest. It tastes good. Don't forget. Smells good. Initial bites are good. How about you? Mm. It's good. I think my favorite part is the potatoes. What's your favorite part? The crab? Yes, ma'am. I guess I would I should I would have gotten you more crab, but you say you weren't hungry. I'll eat some of yours. Unless it's too spicy. Mm. I don't think this one's too spicy. Oh, crazy how crab were made with their own utensils to get their own meat out of their own body. <laughs> when did you, do you remember the first time you had crab? Yes, I think actually it was at, I wonder if Outback has crab. It might have been at Outback with my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom used to take us on these dates. It was oh. weird. I mean, it was cool, but it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Maybe my memory's off. I don't know. But I remember each one She'll of us. She'll take you all by yourself. And yeah, like us boys going on these dates. And then I remember growing up, like, they were always like, crab is grown man's food or adult's food, not grown man. Like, crab are for adults because of how expensive it was. And so I think we went to Outback once and I she got. Did you get crab? Yeah. Do you remember liking it or are you just like, eh? I remember. You were a boy though. You liked anything. Probably. I don't know if you mean a boy's why, but. No? No, but I think I do remember liking it. 
Because it was like, it was so. Like in anything? They might. <laughs> Don't that be a thing. But I just remember the empty being so, like, very, how do you call it? Um, like, scarce because I couldn't have it all the time. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And then, Ming Tin in Grand Rapids, they had a. Uh, they were like the only place that had crab on their buffet. Yeah. And so me and my brothers used to. Oh yeah. Snow crab. When's the first time you had crab? I actually don't remember. Well, just your whole life on the womb. No, I don't remember ever being like really interested in it either. Oh, I'm sure I had it in like gumbo before. My 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 mom makes gumbo a lot, so. I think she put it in there maybe but it was always it was always like not appetizing to me because I never I didn't want to look stupid trying to eat it mm. I'm sure I had it like you know like crab cakes and stuff mm -hmm. in crab but I never had like where I actually was breaking it apart myself because I didn't know what I was doing yeah um, but now I love it I would say now I don't cook it as much but when I was doing seafood boys I at least did like one a month yeah minimum this is just my jam. They're good. Yes, they take a little bit of work, but it's, it's worth, worth it. it. It's worth it. When we make it, though, we get the king sometimes yeah. from um, Fish Lads. Yeah. Fish There's not really a place to get. Oh, now there is, but it's okay. The the seafood spot on 20th Street. Mm. But before then, that's another reason why I made my own because it was just nowhere to get it. There's so many here in New York, though. Yeah. Um, here, you can get anything you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally. Every oh, night. I just remembered a story. What? <laughs> Y'all, we thought our car got stolen. Yeah, it was crazy. Do you want to tell it? Nah, you got it. Well, you know more details than me. Big picture, we were supposed to go to a shoot, and so we left out the house like... The shoot was only an hour, 15 minutes away, or an hour away, so we left out the house an hour, 15 minutes, like five minutes to walk to the car, an hour to drive. And so we were going down the street, and I'm like, yep, the car's right here. And then we didn't see it, and I thought for sure it got towed. And I knew I had like two parking tickets that I still needed to pay, <laughs> but I knew like that wasn't enough for them to tow it. But I still called to see if they towed it. And then Leia was like, well, maybe you parked closer to this sign. And they might have towed it. So I called the cops and I called that towing company and neither of them had it. <laughs> so we were like, all right, we got to call the Uber. Get at this, to this point, event. at this point, we, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, they're going to find our car somewhere. Tires gone, mm -hmm. everything yeah. If you if you've been in New York, parking it can be very hard. So we kind of find try to find a parking spot whenever we can. Or I mean, if all of us supposing we just can't find one, there's like a ramp, like a ten minute walk away, yeah. which isn't bad at all. But it's like, yeah. And so it's even need, did we tell you that we had a shoot that we we're supposed to be at? Yeah, I said that. Yeah. yeah. And so it was like an hour away. But we were able to call an Uber. Called the Uber, arrived just on time. It was definitely yeah. like, it worked out. But then on the way back, the whole time I'm sitting here like, yo, like this car's lost. How are we gonna find it? <laughs> what does insurance cover? All that. Google searching, random stuff. And then- What were you Google searching? Just like about like stolen cars. How to handle it. Yeah, I let Eric handle some of the bigger stuff because my mind just goes to anything possible. And he's really good. He'll tell you. He works well under trauma situations. And so that's his jam. And so I let people be good at what they're good at. So My thing is I knew. And I just, I laid my head down. It was a long day. I'm grateful that he was here to even help figured out that I didn't have to not many people can say they work with the team you know yeah or somebody they can depend on like that yeah because y'all I was tired at this point we had got back home at like 11 I think yes it's like 10 30 11 I think and I was I had to do a police report 
but they said that you had to be at the scene of the crime for a police report so I had to wait until we came back from the event that we had to go shoot and so when we came back I called them and then within an hour they call back mm -hmm. and they're like we found your car you parked it two streets over than you thought and um, <laughs> we were able to get it because they have a car that drives all the streets mm -hmm. and just scans license plates all the time so it scanned our license plate at like six in the morning it was like they're parked right here yeah so all they had to do was type in the license plate to find out where it was just so praise crazy. god praise the court <laughs> it was it was not lost nor told no but another cool thing about it is bmw actually could have found oh, it yeah. for us if we did have to do a full police report so that's a nice thing about the car when you're looking at cars you know i don't know how many cars have that type of system but yeah um it's cool to know and we could have found it if i would have had the gps turned in on the car yeah. but i had it turned off once we got it though i turned the gps on so now in the future i'll always yeah. know where it's at but it's cool to know like if push came to shove bmw could find it even with the gps turned off and then give the location to the police yeah was there a lesson you learned no. Nah, because like things I'm just stressed. happen. Yeah. And then, yeah, I knew it wasn't life or death. That's why I wasn't stressing. I'm like, we're alive. I'm grateful we even have a car to get stolen. Um, I was just about to say, I'll learn. I mean, I'm constantly learning this because I'm not perfect, but um, there's always something that we can consistently be working on that everybody struggles with consistently. And I would say that's probably one of them, like being a worry. What is it? Worry wart? Yeah. Or just like. Sometimes stuff's just not even as big as it it is. Yeah. I'm so, glad we were in New York where, like, there's so many modes of transportation from the yeah. subway to Uber to taxi to biking. Yeah. The car could have been stolen. We would have been set for, I mean, all of our time here. Yeah. So. It was good, though. It was scary, though, for sure. Yeah, because it's like, you work so hard. Especially, you work so hard for something like this. <sighs> Yeah. In my mind, though, it's inevitable. We've yeah. been really fortunate out here to not have major problems. Like, even when we forgot our key in Michigan, we were able to... I mean, to even... We've never been in a car accident. Yeah. You guys know how much we're, we're driving on the road? I remember when we moved up here. A lot of y'all don't know, but... We moved up here January 1st, 2020, this year. And the conditions on the road, y'all... I had never been in any conditions like this. Like, sleep... If you ever driven through Pennsylvania, it's hilly and it's like curvy. And so we're driving in this and it's sleet, it's snowing, you can barely see. There's these big big trucks on the road, there's like cars that have slid off. And some of the railing, like some of the curves don't have like an end, like it's just like you fall off. So I think about as much as we're on the road and stuff and how blessed we are. And honestly, if the car got stolen, I, we would have been fine let's be honest it wouldn't even been like we would have still get around we'd be places. still here recording this video we would yeah. still went to our shoot that we had today we would have still been taken care of so sometimes you just got to tell yourself in the moment eric's good at it it's very rare that i see him like all is lost <laughs> yeah because my biggest thing i have a lot of responsibility but fortunately a lot of the responsibility it's still not life or death. Like I'm you not. Some a, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. You want one? I have one more left, but for some reason it tastes good. Yeah. But I, I like if I finish it. Um. But here you can have some. Uh, I'm not gonna eat all of it. Did you get like a lot spicier or one level? No. Mine? Did you taste that shrimp I gave you? Yeah. Was it spicy? No. Oh, you're giving. I thought you were giving me one leg. No. <laughs> I took one glove off. But yeah, so fun story. I feel like we have more stories like that. We just don't tell them. Yeah. We definitely well, have. Also, more it's stories. a balance because while we enjoy sharing, we create every day. Part of our story, we tell about what we're doing. We also don't want to get too. Some of it you got to be in real life for, you know. Yeah. Shout out to the. Good and bad. Good and bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to our friends who know the real, mm -hmm. who know the real vibes. I mean, shout out to supporters as yeah, well. Yeah, because that's stuff that we haven't mentioned. I feel like one day it will be for 
we'll mention it when it's I mean you've mentioned it to individual people so have I but yeah definitely an open book in person yeah there's not really many questions people ask we don't answer I mean yeah. I don't think there's ever a question I've been asked and I didn't answer yeah no same because I know there's a reason like someone's asking me that question yeah. But I've been told I was hard to get to know, so I think some people <laughs> might have questions and they're just scared. I don't know. Did I tell you if somebody told me that? Um, I believe it. You believe it? Yeah. You can see how people can say that. Hundred percent. Why? Um, because it just takes a second to warm up to people. Sometimes. And not that this should be a prerequisite, but I think I, we all have this thought process. I often hear about people before I even meet them, and so sometimes I'm just a little cautious. Yeah, and it, like some of it, you almost blame on people of the past, like mm -hmm. friends in the past, and like what those relationships with them like make you treat new people certain ways, you know? Definitely. Or so you have certain guards up, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just because we're definitely it can not. Be, it can be. Well, it can be if you're looking to like connect, but we're not. Well. Or at least you're not unopen to meeting new people and like yeah. hearing about them and things. Like you're always, I feel like you know more it's about other people than they know about you. Yeah. It's just a difficult middle ground. Cause like when I heard that, one of the first things that I thought about was like, dang, like I'm supposed to be a Christian, you know? And am I deterring people from like, you know, witnessing to them or just being that light or whatever? Oops, sorry. But I don't know. It also depends, though, because some people want, like, we work on, like, trying not to complain or, like, even talk about people. Some people just want that. They want you to, like, dog individuals. We got asked a few days ago about a person, and, like, we gave our opinion from, like, just having experience with them. But, like, we didn't harp on it. You know, I think some people, the average person, at least, that I, we're around, they like to enjoy, like, And we didn't give, like we didn't give you to either. Yeah. I think that made the person upset though, or yeah. like annoyed. Yeah. Because we didn't give detail, because it just wasn't that. I don't think it was. And it wasn't scary. bad. And we also just said it was our opinion, like and we don't really know all the details. But since you're asking, like here you go. But just big picture, I feel like a lot of people they kind of find a enjoyment being on the same page about a human, or like I don't know. I've been trying to work on complaining in general, like. I think yeah. Things aren't that bad, and yeah, I will say me and Leah both like not overanalyze to other people, but we definitely like <laughs> process things. We'll be like, oh, well, what did they mean by this, or yeah. why does this person not help, or whatever. When really, just like everybody's different and raised different, and some people might think they're Everybody helping. Had different stuff going on that you yeah. don't even know about. Yeah, some people may think they're helping and they're actually not. Yeah, yeah. or supporting, not even just help, but. Yeah, I saw something that was like, support doesn't mean you shared or you liked something, something on social media. No, I'm good. Support doesn't mean you shared or liked something on social media. Like, it goes deeper than that. Yeah. It even makes me say for myself, like, what are things that I think I support that I haven't? Yeah. Or, yeah, it makes you think about your relationships and how you're showing up for people. 100%. I ate mine really fast. I knew you were hungry. I... Eric be like... I it wasn't a lot though either it's seafood that's another thing about seafood that's why they give you the potatoes and stuff yeah i like how functional these bags are though and the, mm -hmm. the melt the gloves mm -hmm. how much do you have i have a little bit you want some more i shrimp mm -hmm. and um no i'm okay it was good okay are you gonna eat your corn uh no you can have it i'll eat the corn you can throw that right there my uh took my gloves off. It's okay. I didn't know if we were gonna do a separate video, but I feel like people haven't heard from you. <laughs> you just you just squirted that all my face, Paul. Sorry. <laughs> Happens often, huh? Oh my god. The corn. The corn's wild. <laughs> wild corn. Are you excited to be a dad? I'm very excited to be a father. The reason why I'm excited to be a father is because I know that it is something that I'm going to have to learn and get better at, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to put in the work. Challenge. I'm going about it not thinking I have the answers, but also not being naive and thinking I can't prepare. So 
I'd say probably yeah. every two days I watch a video or something or hear an experience from somebody. Mm-hmm. And then also even random people. We were in North Carolina. Carolina. Uh, right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. We were in Chapel Hill. Mm-hmm. And just shooting photos of this coach. He said that he had a kid on oh, the way. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Alea and I have our first on the way. He's like, this is my third. My immediate thought after I said congratulations was, what advice do you have? And he gave me his advice, which was to not really take other people's advice and like to really realize that we're going to figure it out along the way. But big picture, I'm like, I want to hear from everyone. Love the way that my parents raised me and my siblings and Alea's parents, the way that they were able to be there for and raised. And so I feel like, of course, there's good examples around us, even like friends of ours that have that How have can kids. you build on top of that? Yeah, but I'm like, I want to build on it. And then also, yeah, continue to get new opinions because... It's also different. Like when we were raised, I mean, TV meant a different thing than now. You know, just a basic word like TV. I wasn't able to watch TV during the weekdays. You weren't? No. If it was a weekday, we weren't allowed to watch TV at all. Do you regret that? Regret? I mean, not regret. How did that make you feel like as a kid? I thought you were. Was there stuff out back then, though, to where, to where you yes. could, like, you know how people yes. are talking about shows, was yes. it? Like what? Like House of Pain? Everything. I mean, we were <laughs> able to watch, actually, by the time we got into high school, on Wednesday nights, we could watch TV. Yeah. Um, I mean, it didn't make me feel a bad thing. Again, like, I get where my parents were coming from for everything that they did do. I yeah. will say the only downside is, and I think I've talked to them about this before, but, like, knowing us a little more like you know knowing what we want like find out maybe why i want to watch tv yeah because to some people watching tv might be the only outlet to decompress now being an adult like i don't even watch that much tv yeah but i do like going to youtube sometimes and yeah one thing i do yeah all that stuff i watch a lot of review videos and not only does it help me get more educated on technology as a whole it yeah. is a good like outlet for me because it's the one time I'm not watching or doing something that I have to be doing yeah. or watching because I watch videos and make them for a living. So yeah, yeah. So what's something you're gonna do different with like your kids in that sense? Like for me, I feel like one thing I don't think I'll have a TV in their room. Yeah, we didn't have a TV in our room. Yeah. Oh, true. Want a TV. I think one thing that'll be different is technology, like actually putting a lock on it. My parents had us bring our phones up for a little bit, but then we also didn't. I don't know. And also, yeah, yeah. I think just actually doing like a lock on some of it mm-hmm. um, to really limit them mm-hmm. so that they even realize like, oh, wow, that was five hours that I spent on my phone today or iPad yeah. or something today. But it's also different, though, because if you're spending five hours on it in the entire time, they're learning how to code. Like, that's something I never was right. able to do. I never learned how to code. So, like, really getting to know, like, what? Yeah they're doing i was that kind of goes into what i was going to say kind of like besides just eliminating something Mm -hmm. making sure they're putting it that time towards something else like whether it's like okay we don't have we're not we're not watching tv but like let's go for a walk yeah or let's go camping yeah Um, or even if you're watching tv making sure Doing whatever you can around what interests you, especially yeah. if it can end up being a career. I think about, um, what's Israel Holden's new wife's name? Oh, uh, Ariana. Is that still? <laughs> Adriana. Is that still considered his new wife? What's her name? Adrian. You know who I was talking about? Yeah, it's just funny. Because he was like, new wife? I was like, he got a new wife? Adrian Holton yeah. talked about when she was younger, she used to turn on the captions on TV and mimic what they were saying. Mm-hmm. Clearly... Her watching TV was relevant because she went on to be a part yeah, of one yeah. of the biggest brands. Yeah. And she like, said it helped her. Now she's on the real. She's like a talk show host, and she said it like helped her helped her in that aspect. Like she was able to read easier. Um, I was thinking more of Cheetah Girls. Like I think that's a bigger oh, yeah, accomplishment than the real. Which I mean, which is my opinion. But her being on Cheetah Girls, like, and be able to be, and she acts in other things too. She's been in acting. Mm-hmm. But big picture, something that. For somebody might be a little more of a distracting timepiece for her was actually like this thing that helped build a skill which she loves too not just like make everything work she like loved being able to like sit in front of the tv and 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 read the captions so Mm -hmm. i don't know helping them use their time to do whatever they like yeah yeah but you got to know yourself so like and also exposure because like i didn't know 
there was a point in time where I didn't know people were getting paid to write the scores in movies or pick the music or pick actors. Like, I didn't know that was a possibility. So I think even exposing to that is super important. Yeah, because it looks... I mean, you, when you see it as a child, like, I would have thought Iron Man directed his own movie or something because I just yeah. didn't understand what a director was. Yeah. And how, like, he actually doesn't do much. Like, yeah. he has a stunt double... He has all these different things. Tony Stark, um, I mean, Robert Downey Jr., he doesn't end up doing that much. Yeah. What he does is extremely important, but he literally walks on set, says his lines. Like, yeah. uh, I thought it was like, oh, he came up with those words, or he da 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 Yeah, you're right about exposure, knowing there's so much to it. Mm-hmm. And that's for every industry, too. An engineer, growing up, I always thought engineer was like, oh, you're building a new piece of technology. Yeah. No, engineer could literally be an air conditioning unit engineer who's mm-hmm. like making a very functional air conditioning unit. Of course, you can make like a swaggy air conditioning unit. That like was July, like, but I remember us having those conversations before. I don't even know if we were dating at this point, but we were driving on the road. I think we were going to Detroit, mm-hmm. and you were just we were just talking about like <clears throat> there's somebody needed for every single thing. I think we were looking at the signs. Mm-hmm. Like the exit signs or the signs you see on the freeway that tell you where you're going. Yeah. Somebody made those. Somebody designed those. Somebody printed on those. Somebody like was in a factory putting that together. Um, Creatively too. Like I think yeah. a lot of times we always think creativity is only the art side of stuff, yeah. but it is Cre- physically creating, actually yeah. creating everything in the world. And I don't know. You hear it all. I at least hear it often. Everything was designed or everything was created by. But like when you really sit down and look around and it's like wow there's like every actual thing that we see is designed yeah it's wild are you gonna eat the noodles oh i didn't even try those i'm scared you didn't try it yours is just garlic no they look plain they look very plain yeah maybe one of our recommendations is not to get noodles now another place i looked at they had garlic noodles Mm. and so i think that's a little different so maybe we'll try that next time do you think I'm gonna order a milkshake? I have butter pecan ice cream in the fridge. Yeah, I haven't had ice cream in a decent. Okay, I had it last night. <laughs> well, we're about to get dessert, but I think we're pretty much wrapped up with this mukbang. But thanks for watching. Thanks. I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but if you made it this far, you're a real one. So thanks for, for watching. Sure. Um, maybe I'll have Eric do some more videos with me. I don't know. We'll maybe, see. Like, maybe we'll do some more chats. Maybe we do some creative talk or something. I don't know. Cloth talk. Because he's a genius. I Another think. one. I'm trying to get him to start a YouTube. I mean, not start a YouTube, but like do reviews and stuff. Because people are always asking him about like different products. And he's also like super savvy. And he loves the different products. He knows what's new. He knows all this stuff. So... If you guys want him to start a YouTube channel or this YouTube segment. If this video gets up to a thousand views. <laughs> there needs got, to be a demand. That's my only does, thing. I need Eric, a demand for it. There so. is a demand. It has to already be there. I don't feel like having to go it build it. It is a it. demand. I don't feel like having to go build it. I you know, like you it. watch reviews. So there is a demand. I do. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. So if you guys want to learn more from him, let him know down below. Maybe you want to learn about my new... Uh, my new Leatherman. It's a little multi tool I got. Could definitely go through all of the different ins and outs. It's got a wire. He collects cutter. knives and multi tools. It has a wire cutter on it. What makes that that one different than the other one you bought? The one one other multi tool. The other one doesn't exist in my presence anymore. I had to he throw it away it. while we were when I was going to oh, Raleigh, North airport. Carolina a month ago. Yeah, it was in my pocket, so I had to throw Dang. it away. But this one, apparently, Letterman is like the industry standard. They're really quality. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a... I might actually make a video about it. Because, yeah, it's You cool. should. And it's just like, I don't know. It's What's cool your to favorite? be ready. What's your favorite pocket knife that you have? I get with you, I can guess it. Which one? Is it the bison? The bison pocket, pocket tool? My favorite is actually one that I gave to Wayne. And I want, oh, that's nice and I want it back. <laughs> Why? Because I like the design on it a lot. Okay, well make sure you get it back. You seem yeah, pretty serious. I'm dead serious. Which one is that? Which one it was silver. That? I don't think you remember it because it was so long ago. But oh. I'm getting it back. Don't worry. Where's the bison one? At the at, at carbon. 
I do like the Mexico one though, the one we got in yeah. uh, the one we got in uh, mm-hmm. what was that? What was the pyramid called? Um, Ichiban? Nope. Oh man. Wow. I don't even, I can't remember it. I forget. The Mayan we were Aztec Mayan. Inca? Inca. No. We were in the Mayan we were in The Mayan pyramids. Yeah, there no. were Mayan pyramids. Huh? They were my pyramids. We were in Cancun, and then we went to, what's the name of the city? Y'all, we are drawing blanks. It's been a long day. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chill later this week. We're gonna find some stuff that we can just chill with. But we'll I probably forget. just watch a movie after this. Rest our minds. The new Suicide Squad. It's it's on HBO. You wanna watch that one or Snake Eyes? Snake Eyes. I already Snake. saw Suicide Squad. It's not the that second good. one. Oh yeah, y'all watched it. Yeah, Cancun. you should have came out and watched it with us. Listen, I'm turning into an old lady. Uh-huh. I, I'll be tired, y'all. Hey. We heard a baby. I kept hearing a baby. You screaming. ain't that old. We heard a baby out here like screaming, and we both. Yeah, that was actually. We crazy. both was like. I had a physical response. Yeah, like, me where too. I was like, I gotta stop the baby. Me you, too. You, your breasts were leaking. No, I was just oh. like, I was like, I don't know, like I don't know how to describe it. I was just. Like, you hear that's a thing though. Like if you hear babies yeah, crying, yeah. your breasts might leak. Yeah. Wah. Yeah. Wah. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Uh, we trailed heavy, but we did. Maybe yeah. the next time I'm in the video is when the baby's here. Maybe. Little baby. Yeah. We've got a name picked out. Comment what you think the name is. Yeah. Well, somebody who knows the name is just gonna comment it. Well, no one will know unless multiple people comment. But even then, yeah, I still don't. It won't be accurate. And I don't think the people who know like are gonna watch. No, no. they won't. My sister might. True. But um, uh, but yeah. Thank it, you guys for watching. Would you you about to say something? Excuse the noise outside. Yeah. It's New York. Yeah. We couldn't escape it. So. There's a nail file. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, there's a nail file. Yeah. So oh, if that's from, the like, difference. In a jail or something. Oh no, the difference is the quality of the build. Okay, it's then, no specific thing. Yeah, actually, I gotta look them up some more too. Yeah, you should. Yeah, put it down. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for having me, Alea. Of course. I, I be wanting him in all my stuff, y'all. He's so cool to me. And we just be having, I don't know, he's so wise. Wild. I thought you were gonna say wild. I am that being too. Wild. You are wild. Wild and wise. More wild than wise. So. That's not true. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to comment below anything, whatever you choose to or not. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>